Hi, I'm um, in the quest to keep this video diary going. Um, here I am. Uh, I've got 118 days to go until the Ironman. Now this week has been a what they call a strength loading week, and I'm at the end of the week. It's Sunday now. Um, just completed a five. Yeah, five hour and 56 minute ride. Um, left here at five o'clock, went up to King Lake and did repeats up the hills around where all the Black Saturday bushfires were. Um, and after what basically what's happening with the programs is we go up for three weeks, we build the intensity up for three weeks and then we have a rest week. So this week, Coming is rest week, and tomorrow I'm off to my mate's wedding at Boracay Island in the Philippines. So it works out beautifully. Um, I went through. I just wanted to share that um, that that things are really starting to come together. Um, I don't know if I've I've told you in in other posts that my coach. Um, has I started this journey at 80 kilograms my coach wants me to be down to 70 kilograms that's seven, yeah, 80 to 70 now um, that's and I'm you know I don't know how much body fat but about 8% body fat at the moment so I've got to lose basically 10 kilograms of muscle not fat but muscle so this is my kind of journey from you know mesomorph which is a more muscular kind of body frame to a skinnier body frame, which is called ectomorph. Um, and as a result, my eating's changed. My eating, um, I look back on prior yeah, prior video diaries before I got coached and look at, in particular, the Mount Macedon ride that I did and some of the around the bay rides, the big rides that I've done. I was not, not putting in the amount of calories and the amount of sugars and and um, carbohydrates that I should have been during those rides and as a result I was feeling absolutely fucked at the end of it like like I was going to pass out and that Mount Macedon ride which which looking back was absolutely fucking stupid um, I really I really under nutritioned is that the word um, didn't put enough food in and as a result got dehydrated and all the rest um, I'm blown away by the fact that I've just done a five-hour ride with the other more experienced Ironman triathletes, and now one guy in particular has now gone off, got finished his ride, changed in his car, and then went off for a two-hour run, a two-hour run. So um, that's what I've got to look forward to, and apparently it's coming. So those video diary updates are going to be very, very interesting. Um, but I look forward to it because this week I had a massive, massive breakthrough in that um, my leg injury that I've been bitching about, my leg injury is a neural injury. So I went to a guy by the name of Justin McAvoy who works, walks on, uh, works on Thorpey of all, of all people. And he's a he's a great physio out of here out here at Footscray, and as a result, um, he cracked my back and he put probably put me in more pain than I've ever been in before, but freed up my back. And he said, I said, when can I run? Can I run? Because I'm keen to run. And he said, Yep, run this afternoon. I ran. I was going to say run like the wind, but I ran like a like a breeze, and it was nice and easy. My legs felt felt. Um, free for the first time in a long time, which is fantastic. And so we've diagnosed the problem, and now we're moving forward. And I feel very confident in my abilities to to train and to handle the workload from here on. So this is a positive post, even though I'm fucked. This is a positive post because um, I feel that a lot of the posts up until now have been quite negative, and I've been quite quite negative in my delivery. But it's all in the up and up. And plus, I'm going to a you know what's regarded as the second best 
beach in the world called White Beach on Boracay Island, Island in the Philippines. So me no complain. All right, that is it. This has been a long post. Thanks for listening, and I wish you all the best. Bye.